Are you thinking about having a yard sale here in Ontario? It's a great way to get rid of extra items and to free up space in your home too. So in this video, we'll share everything you need to know about having a yard sale here in the city of Ontario, California. Hi, my name is Casey and I'm a local realtor. And I wanted to make this quick video to share some guidelines and requirements for having a yard sale here in Ontario. So if you're gonna have a yard sale, here are seven things you'll need to know. Number one, when can I have a yard sale? Yard sales are only permitted in Ontario on one weekend during each quarter of the year. So that's just four weekends a year. The rest of the time, yard sales are not allowed. Now this is really important to keep in mind. You don't wanna have a yard sale on the wrong weekend because if you do, you'll probably get a visit from the city's code enforcement team. So in 2022, the approved yard sale weekends are February 4th, 5th, and 6th, May 6th, 7th, and 8th, August 5th, 6th, and 7th, and finally, November 4th, 5th, and 6th. Schedule your yard sale on one of these weekends to avoid any problems. Number two, do I need a permit? The city does not require you to have a permit to have a yard sale. And many other cities do, so this is actually good news. And as long as you hold your yard sale on one of these approved weekends, no permit or approval is required. Number three, yard sale hours. Your yard sale can be held between the hours of seven in the morning all the way up until six in the evening. And again, to avoid visits from the code enforcement team, make sure you conduct your yard sale only between the hours of 7 a.m. and 6 p.m. Number four, can I put out signs? The city has very strict rules on the use of signs to promote your yard sale. The guidelines clearly state that you can only use one double-sided sign and the sign can't exceed a total of six square feet in size. So that means a sign no bigger than 24 inches by 36 inches. And the sign can be only posted on the property that's conducting the yard sale. So that means you can't put up signs on light poles, telephone poles, or vehicles either. But if you wanna promote your yard sale, a good way to do it is to post it on local sites like Nextdoor or on neighborhood Facebook groups. Number five, what can I sell? The only items that you're allowed to sell at your yard sale are items that actually belong to you as your personal property. Now, I know this sounds pretty basic, but it's important to know you're not allowed to sell any new merchandise and you can't take any items on consignment for resale either. So just remember, you can only sell your own personal items. Number six, where can I have a yard sale? Yard sales are only allowed on properties allowed and permitted for residential use. So that means single family homes, condos, and townhomes are okay, but commercial space, public space, or city property cannot be used to hold a yard sale. And finally, number seven, what if it rains? The city does have a rule in place in the event that it rains. So if it happens to rain on either Friday or Saturday of the approved yard sale weekend, then yard sales can be held on the following weekend, and that includes all three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So if you're thinking about having a yard sale, keep these seven things in mind. And don't let these rules keep you from having your yard sale either. It's a great way to get rid of extra items, plus it'll put extra cash in your pocket too. And don't forget, the next yard sale weekend is coming up on August 5th, 6th, and 7th. So get your items ready, and I hope you have a successful yard sale.